A farmer finds that if she plants 50 trees per acre, each tree will yield 65 bushels of fruit. She estimates that for each additional tree planted per acre, the yield for each tree will decrease by three bushels. How many trees should she plant per acre to maximize her harvest? So the total harvest per acre is going to be equal to the number of trees times the number of bushels per tree. So if we let x equal the number of additional trees, we could say h of x, the harvest per acre, would be equal to the total number of trees, which would be 50 plus x, times the number of bushels per tree. Well, the bushels per tree start at 65, but it decreases by three bushels for every extra tree. So the total number of bushels per tree would be 65 minus 3x. So 50 plus x is the total number of trees, and 65 minus 3x is the total number of bushels per tree. Let's go ahead and multiply this out. H of x is equal to 50 times 65, that's 3,250. And then minus 50 times 3x, that's minus 150x, plus 65x, minus 3x squared. Let's go ahead and combine like terms and write the terms in descending order. We'd have h of x equals negative 3x squared. Combine the x terms would give us minus 85x and then plus 3,250. So our goal here is to maximize this function. So for the next step, we'll determine the critical numbers, which is where the first derivative is equal to zero or undefined. So h prime of x is equal to negative 6x minus 85 then we'd have plus zero. Notice how the derivative function is a linear function, which is never undefined. So to find the critical number, we'll set this equal to zero and solve for x. So we'll add 85 to both sides. Negative six x equals 85. Divide both sides by negative six. And we have x is approximately negative 14.17. And since x is the number of additional trees, we're going to round to the nearest whole number, so we'll use a critical number, x equals negative 14. But we should still verify that the function is maximized, not minimized at this value. Well, we should recognize that the harvest function here is a quadratic function with a negative leading coefficient, so we have a parabola that opens down, or a concave down function. Therefore, this x value would maximize the function but we can also use the first or second derivative test. Let's use the second derivative test to verify the concavity. So here's the first derivative function, and notice how the second derivative function, h double prime of x, would be equal to negative six. Because the second derivative is always negative, the function is always concave down, which is good news because that means that our critical number, we have a maximum function value, and therefore the function is maximized at approximately x equals negative 14. But we might be thinking to ourselves, how can x be negative if x is the number of additional trees? Well, the total number of trees is 50 plus x, so the ideal number of trees would be 50 plus negative 14, or 36 trees per acre. So 50 trees is too many to maximize the harvest. So the harvest is maximized with 50 plus x trees, which is 50 plus negative 14 or 36 trees. I hope you found this helpful.